Hello everyone and welcome to Mimir's Realm. This video is about the creation of Mimir the Beholder. The basic structure of Mimir is made of paper mache, foam balls, and stiff wires. Here I'm testing to see how the servo reacts to the weight of the foam eyeball atop of it. And here we see the relation of the joysticks X and Y axis and how they respond with the servo motors and the LED lights on the breadboard. As you can see, when I move it to the left and right on the X axis, it rotates the servo motor. And for the Y axis up and down, it changes the lights from red, green, and blue. And over here, I've programmed the AT Mega 328P IC, allowing me to map everything out onto my perf board. My prototyping and programming was done on an Elegoo Mega board. In this image, you can see we started to apply clay to create the teeth and the formation around the eye. However, we found it became a bit too heavy with this technique. So we switched over to spray foam to fill in the rest of the sculpture, which allowed for a lot more versatility in the art. We were able to carve out different formations onto the skin and form the eye socks to give him more texture. Here we applied the foam horns with skewers and reinforcing them with hot glue. We improved the eye detail using more paper mache and adding more dynamic paint to the iris. We completed this step by adding in the tongue before painting Mimir himself. Now you can see Mimir has been mounted on the wall with a pine wood backboard and the painting has been finished. I have extended the cable length and recycled a broken smoky mini amp to form a controller. I have the wiring coming in through the left side and the power coming in through the right side with a 9 volt DC power jack. There's also a battery compartment located within the casing to allow for great mobility. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment below. And if you'd like to see more of our content coming up, please click on the subscribe button.